everyone, welcome back. Today I am doing a what I eat in a day with food combining. I haven't done a what I eat in a day in a while, um, but since the last one that I've done, it has changed a bit because I have been doing food combining for seven months now. I have a lot of information about this on my website. I will link all of that down below. But basically, this is how I eat in a day while doing food combining. Um, I always start my day, of course, with my lemon water and with a coffee. And then I have different principles that I follow with food combining that you will see throughout the day. I'm gonna timestamp everything, let you know what time I'm eating, just to give you a rough sort of idea. So follow along, and if you guys find, I know food combining can be really complicated for some people to understand. I will link below my article where I have a chart for you guys. I really explain it in detail. And um, I will also timestamp everything I'm eating and explain to you along the way how it goes and you know just show you by what I eat the principles of food combining. It's actually a lot more simple than you think. And um, I'm excited for you guys to see this and follow along with me. So I go back between cold brew and my Nespresso, but one thing is for sure, I will always do froth coconut milk. Um, so yeah, I'll do one sort of long coffee and then I'll add in the coconut milk and add in some cinnamon and it's so delicious. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half since I had my coffee and now I'm going to do my morning smoothie. I really like doing um, orange and yellow fruits. I have a few reasons why and they're all kind of outlined in my morning smoothie recipe and post. But just to give you an, an idea of it, they're filled with fiber. Um, they have tons of magnesium, tons of vitamins and minerals, and they're really, really good at cleansing the digestive tract. I go into detail on my Fruit Till Noon article, which I'll link below on this video. Um, but basically, the way that it works is your body has different cycles, uh, natural cycles that it kind of functions with. And between the time of 4 a.m. to 11 a.m. is the elimination cycle. This is the time in which your body is eliminating the things that you've eaten the day before, getting it all out. And so you don't want to bog down your system with heavy foods. So eating fruit till noon has tons of benefits in the sense that it gives you vitamins, minerals, nutrients, um, fiber, but also it digests really quickly and it is giving your body the energy to eliminate properly and it sets up really easy digestion for the day. You've just started your day, your system's just been sleeping, you don't want to bog it down with like heavy foods that take really, uh, that take a lot of energy to digest. So I've been doing this for seven months now. It's a really big principle in food combining that you eat fruit alone. I eat fruit until noon um, and I'm absolutely loving it. So I will link my smoothie recipe down below. In the smoothie today we have sea buckthorn berries, mango, banana, pineapple, a few cherries um, and peaches. And I'm gonna add in some filtered water, and then I also have some spirulina in there and cinnamon, which is something I've been adding more recently. I'm gonna blend this up and show you how I do this. Okay, so my smoothie is all blended up. So what I'll do is I have two cups now. This cup is two cups. And then I take the other two cups. Ooh, this is not easy to film. And I pour it into my insulated bottle. And then I will store this and eat it. Um, or drink it when I feel hungry next. So usually in about an hour and a half, two hours. And this holds me over. So some people are like, how do you just eat fruit till noon? Look how much this is. This is four cups of fruit and water. And it's amazing. Okay, so it's about 10.40 a.m., an hour and a half after I had my first round of fruit. Now I'm gonna go in and drink the second two cups. And then that will hold me over until lunch at around noon. I am just prepping lunch. I like to have a big salad. Um, I'm just prepping lunch. One of the principles in food combining is not to mix starches and proteins. This is a salad made of all non-starchy vegetables. 
These are neutrals and can be combined with either starches or proteins. I like to have this salad before lunch and dinner um, to ease digestion for the next food group. These digest pretty easily. And then um, the other food groups like starch and protein digest a lot slower. Today I am actually going to be combining with this Delicata squash that's about to go into the oven. Delicata squash is a starchy vegetable. This recipe is on Glow Girls. I will link it below on this video. This is my maple thyme delicata squash. So I'm going to eat that with the salad for lunch. And then I also have some leftover just steamed garlic Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to have that as well, and that will be my lunch. Okay, so here is my lunch. It's 12.15, so I'm going to have my Vitality salad, which is a minimum of nine vegetables, raw vegetables. I'll eat about 50% of this, until, and then I'll start with my starches, delicata squash, and some Brussels sprouts. Okay, it's about 3.30, about to have my afternoon snack. Generally, I kind of switch things up. Um, day to day, depending on what I'm feeling today, I want more fruit. It's been three hours since my last meal at least. So I've been loving yellow dragon fruit. It's so delicious. So I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to eat some of this. Um, and I might also have a little bit of papaya. So that will usually hold me over. And then if I want something else, the fruit digests really quickly so I can move on and have either some chips or some vegetables, and that will hold me over until dinner. So this is what my snack looks like. I have the dragon fruit, which I literally just scoop out with a spoon, and a little bit of papaya. And like I said, if I'm so hungry after this, I will have some veggies, but usually this holds me over until dinner time. Now it is dinner time. I have a bunch of food here, and I have friends. Say hi. Um, so tonight I'm doing my lemon dill salmon, which is on the blog. I hate saying the blog, which is on the site. Mm -hmm. So I'm always starting off with a salad. I like to have at least nine to 11 vegetables. This is basically a variation of my vitality salad. And then I did it with my lemon dill. Nope, not lemon dill. I did it with my dill vinaigrette. So then I have the, this first, then I will start to eat my lemon dill salmon. I have some roasted beets and roasted Brussels sprouts, and that is my dinner. When it comes to having an after-dinner snack, this is usually what I go for. We always like to have a piece or two of dark chocolate. Depending on what I ate, um, it will depend on which one I have. So if I did something that um, was a more starch-based meal, then I will do like this with the crispy quinoa, which is fine. If I just had an animal protein like I did tonight, which is the salmon, I will do something like the, the mint or just a simple dark chocolate that doesn't have any nut butters or any starches in it. This is probably my favorite. Um, sometimes I just break the food combining situation and just have a square of this and it doesn't really affect me badly. Um, but I definitely like recently I've been doing a square or two of Who Kitchen or a really good quality dark chocolate. So there you guys have what I eat in a day. I never do animal protein twice. So if I did, for example, salmon for dinner, I make sure that I ate something plant-based for lunch. Um, this is my new normal. I do eat about 80% plant-based. As of right now, I just want to show you a day where I kind of do both because I know that so many of you um, aren't on the plant-based train just yet. And like myself, I'm just doing my best to make the best choices for my health. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, you guys can leave a comment down below. And all recipes that were shown on this video that are available on the website will be linked below. Love you guys. See you soon.